Hey everybody, this is Sean V. Bradley, and I'm working from my home office today. I got some friends coming over from Arizona, some Dealer Synergy clients. I've got Josh Leader and his beautiful wife. They're flying in from Arizona. I think they actually might be in Philadelphia, but they're going to be spending the weekend with the Bradleys. So let me just turn around and just jump right into it. I've been talking to a lot of people about... Um, training and how you could train and what the purpose of training is. So before I kind of show you the platform, what I want to be able to do is this. I want you to all to understand that training is not what most people are doing at dealerships. If you are turning on and watching a video, that's not training. That's being exposed to information. You got to understand that true training comes from uh, a couple of very important things. One is repetition, 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 repetition. The other aspect of training is going to turn on and be experience. If you think about Olympic um, gold medalists or, or just Olympians in general, how much they practice drill or rehearse. Professional athletes practice drill or rehearse. You know the um, the military, Navy SEALs, whatever. These these people are constantly training, 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 training. And so what happens is this. I find dealerships all over the country, what they're doing is they might watch a video here, watch a video there. I mean, like, listen, just because you watched a couple, you know, Mike Tyson videos on YouTube doesn't make you a professional boxer. You're not going to go compete in the freaking um, major boxing. Hold on. I'm at home and my son, the five-year-old, there we go. Yes, I got a fufu office. This is all Karen. It's all gold and white and stuff. So now, watch. What I want to do, I want to show you guys, I want to show you guys exactly what, in my opinion, the absolute best virtual training platform is. This out. Okay, one of the things that people don't realize is that I own a major, I, me and my wife, we own eight companies, but one of the companies that we own is a company called Dealer Video Production. Okay, and so dealer video production, we have an entire video production team and we do video production for dealerships all over the United States, but that's not what this is about. Because we have an entire in-house team, we basically created all this content here. So now watch. Now the difference, I don't know if you all understand this, but the company that powers my platform is a company called Lightspeed. Uh, the CEO is one of my mentors, Brad Lee, and a very you know good friend. And so what's really amazing about the whole Lightspeed platform, this is what Grant Cardone is on, Joe Verdi's on, Alan Ram's on, Corey Mosley's on, Jonathan Dawson's on, but outside the automotive industry, Brian Tracy, uh, Zig Ziglar, you know, the, the famous guy that passed away, as well as Napoleon Hill, as well as, you know, the billionaire Tony Robbins. Uh, Lightspeed is the preeminent, uh, which means the absolute best LMS learning management solution on planet Earth. But follow me on this. The difference is the content. So again, I'm going to go into the just a couple quick things really quick. This is what's called a training, tracking, testing certification platform. See, because, you know, YouTube is for watching videos. I've got like 6,000 free videos on Sean V. Bradley TV. But with the Bradley On Demand platform, what we have here, again, they have some amazing features. I'm going to go into here. So for the calendar, so whether it's a dealer group or it's a dealership or it's an individual person, you could actually schedule, you know, from the drop down, whether it's per person, per store, per team, you know, what day they're going to train on, but also what module that you want them to train on itself. So now, in addition to turning on the calendar features, there's a really cool feature here, which salespeople might not like this, so don't get mad at me, but this is, you know, what I always say to dealers is this, check this out, is that this platform, in my opinion, should turn around and make a dealership money, whether the salesperson uses it or not. Well, what do you mean by that? Check this out. For if, if something is mandatory, like the manufacturers give you OEM training and certification, why is it that training for a dealership should be optional? That doesn't make any sense to me. I own several multi-million dollar companies and I'm absolutely going to make sure that my people are getting trained. You can't turn around and can you imagine going to the OR and the doctor says, woo, I just watched Grey's Anatomy. Let's do this. Are you kidding me? That's why they go to medical school because they need to get trained before they go into surgery. Can you imagine if you have your house is burning down, your kids are upstairs on the second floor, the third floor? And the firefighter turns around and says, oh, wow, I just turned around and, um, you know, just got out of, uh, you know, regular high school. I'd never been to, you know, training camp or nothing like that. Does that make sense? So now watch. So back to this here. There's a feature at light speed that you could actually turn around and uh, 
Yeah, absolutely. So, but here's the thing. So Lee just said something. It doesn't matter what GMC does. It's the content. I just want to show you the light speed for a second. So what we're able to do is tie, you know, the, their pay plan to the light speed. So for example, if the person had 25% commissions, they're going to start at 20 or 15 or whatever. And it's really simple. If you go through the X amount of modules, then you get your full commissions. If you don't go through the X amount of modules, you get, you know, you don't get your full commissions or the reverse way. Instead of a punishment as an enhancement. If you normally get 25% commission, if you get through a certain amount, it'll be 30. So anyway, so the, the technology is pretty cool because you have the ability to have the training center, you have certification, you also have um, you know the report card, you have your file vault where you could upload files, you know, word tracks, uh, scripts, you know, four squares, templates, whatever. Your favorites is like a like an iPad or iPad or iTunes or Spotify playlist. And then this is just stuff to the Millionaire Car Salesman group, to my IS20G and Make Money Mondays. But let's just jump into it. You guys ready? So this is what I've invested about $3 million in. And I listen, I respect everybody that does training, but the difference is this. They don't have this in any way, shape or form. They may be like, it's gonna take probably three or four different training companies to get what you get in one. So this is internal stuff. Like I practice what I preach. I use my own platform for my internal. But watch this right here for new hires. So we have content for welcome to the automotive industry. Now, the, other than that, this is all user defined. Like we have dealer groups. And so let's just say you are, like one of my dealer groups is Castle Automotive. So they could turn around and when you click here, this is my account, so this is not Castle's, but if it's, if I was at Castle Chevrolet, this would say Castle Chevrolet. So every new employee that goes to the, um, the Bradley on Demand platform for Castle Chevrolet, they click it and the GM might turn around and say, hi, my name is Sean Bradley. You know, welcome to Castle Chevrolet. So it's a little bit about the dealership. Now let's just say like Gus Medina is the internet director there. So let's just say it says the internet department. Now watch this, I'm gonna go into this. The dealership, what we do with my video production company, so a dealer could do this themselves. So if you already have your orientation, your employee handbook, your sexual harassment policy, if that's already on, if you already have that digitized or in video, you could upload it for free here. But if you don't, we could turn around and create it. So here's one of my uh, stores that does like 600 plus units a month. So if you turn around, I'm just gonna pull this up here. So this is like sexual harassment. Our company values and respects each individual employee. Offensive or harassing behavior. So what I found is that if you if dealerships turn around and use this for everything, the more that they use this, the better it's gonna be. Plus it's federally and state compliant. So again, the way that I personally would use this is I wouldn't just use it with just the Bradley Demand content. I would use this if I'm a dealer principal or GM or dealer group, I would wanna put as much of my own content in here. Like what? Like everything for my new hires, like welcome to the dealership, welcome to the departments, you know, the employee handbook, the sexual harassment policy, the onboarding process, day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in training. Now, in addition to this, check this out. And this is really, really special, guys. Pay attention. All right. I've been saying this. If you think that CRM is important, but listen to this. There is no CRM company, not one of them, that specializes in training on process strategy, psychology, um, you know, and, and action plans. From Vin Solutions, which I could tell you all about, Dealer Socket, Elites, all them, they specialize on how to use the tool. That's how you want to use the tool is up to you. And so, but I've done as a national trainer and a CRM expert, I have a complete course from setting up the CRM because I'm a huge fan of Vin Solutions. I got Vin Solutions, you know, for my Vin Solutions clients here. What's up, Melvin? I've also got CRM strategy, CRM action plan, CRM processes, CRM, you know, content, CRM for managers, CRM training, CRM, you know, reporting, CRM accountability, CRM integration, and CRM data mining, equity mining. So folks, let me tell you this right now, not one of the CRM companies, Vin Solutions included, has anything like this. How do I know? Because I've spent tens of thousands of dollars flying all over the country shooting this stuff. And here's what's kind of crazy, check this out. So Vin Solutions, for example, let's go to accountability. Part of what I do is synergy. So working with Vin Solutions for years, again, this is gonna be, watch what I'm gonna show you. Here's a video real quick on how do I, how do I get everyone in my dealership to use a CRM? Watch this. How to get everybody in your dealership to use the CRM. 
that is extremely important. Okay, and I think a lot of uh, some dealerships just kind of take that for granted. It's not just okay. a. So right here, let me get an example. Vin Solutions isn't talking about Vin Solutions here, but what I've done is I fly around the country and I find subject matter experts all over the country, and basically show them how to turn around and you know uh, use that information you know to help a ton of people. So like I flew to Vin Solutions and I basically created the instructional design. I basically said I want you to shoot this content for my platforms. So again, Vin Solutions doesn't even possess the, the, the modules of them that I do because I invested all the money in final replacing and capturing it. So again, we just went through the new hire um, section here. I have a complete section on training, tracking, testing certification for CRM. I even have a CRM certification for level one, level two, level three. And so this, in my opinion, is one of the biggest problems why so many people suck at CRM and they don't use the CRMs the right way is because they think just because they've got training from Dealer Socket or Vin Solutions or eLeads or any other training company out there that they're trained. That's not true. You're trained on how to use their tool, but you're not trained on how to use CRM, psychology, strategy, content, or what have you. This whole section is agnostic no matter what CRM that you're using. My clients, we work with 13 different CRMs. The Majority of them are VIN, but I still have a lot of company, a lot of you know dealers that are using different. Now watch this. This is crazy. I've never seen anything even close to our phone program. So we've got a complete phone program with which is our outbound phone call process, our inbound phone call process, objections, rebuttals, scripting, value package proposition. Let me go back. Value package proposition, uh, special finance phone processes, voicemail strategy, appointments, closing, and a phone script simulator, which is gamification. I'm just going to show you one part of this. You ready? So look at my objections and my rebuttals. So when I go here to my objections and rebuttals, the top the top seven reasons why people are going online or calling as a phone up is price, availability, convenience. I hate car salesmen, research, trade, and credit. I've got over 107, you know, completely brand spanking new, awesome objections and rebuttals. Now, for example, for price, as you can see here, I have, um, as you see here, I've got 12 interactive training modules on how to handle price for phone ups and internet ups. If that's not enough, I've got an additional 15. I have an additional 15 advanced price responses. So you're looking at 25 um, training modules, how to handle price for internet ups and phone ups. So again, this is the thing guys, I have 3,500 training modules on here. So we've got a section right now uh, for again, new hires for CRM, and these are not one or two modules. I'm talking about like there's 3,500, there's 3,500 training modules on here. Phone sales, now watch my internet sales BDC program, different internet sales BDC models, products and resources. I'm not talking about inventory, I'm talking about like websites, um, you know, data money, equity money, call tracking, call monitoring, chat, all that stuff. Mindset, process communication, skill set, you know, processes like, you know, email protocol, texting protocol, uh, e cards protocol. Um, etc. Internet sales, BDC staff, HR, it's all about the money. KPIs, which is key performance indicators, technology resources, digital marketing. Now, this is pretty crazy. My showroom people, where are you at? So I have an entire, like these, I could sell modular, just internet or just phone sales. I'm just giving you the whole rundown. My showroom sales is ridiculous. So for example, I just started, I just literally launched this the other day. And even my clients haven't even logged in because I just uploaded this. So when you go in here, I just started turning around and interviewing people. So for example, Frank Crenitti, who sells 100 cars a month, you know, from Piazza Honda. There's a salesperson that sells 100 cars a month who's a millionaire car salesperson interviewing him. You know, these are some of the best people from this dealership, from this dealership, from this dealership, from this dealership, from this dealership. And I'm only interviewing people that are making 150, 180, you know, 200, 300, $400,000 a year selling cars on the showroom floor. Why? Because again, in my opinion, it's not just learning about objections and rebuttals, it's finding some of the best people that I can interviewing them, getting them, you to hear them from their point of view, from their mouth, what they're doing to be successful. So now again, besides you know the, the, the interviews, all about mindset for showroom sales, projecting and forecasting. This is my money, my map philosophy, the eight ways to sell. The eight ways to sell cars, again, is walk-in, be back, internet, phone, 
prior customers, orphan owners, service conversions, referrals, and a lost art of prospecting. I even have two different complete road to the sales. I have a traditional road to the sale, and then I have the new road to the sale. But what's kind of cool about the new road to the sale, I shot this using multiple dealerships, um, you know, on-site like facilities, like a um, like a Hollywood studio. So, for example. So one of my clients is RK Chevrolet. I love them people. And so like right here, this is from the G, from the GSM. So if you look at this right here, it's going to negotiations from the desk point of view. So I put a 27 year veteran, a GSM. So now you're ready to come to the desk and get the numbers to present to the customer. As a general salesperson, general sales manager, my expectations are this. I'm expecting you to have followed all the steps of your road to the sale to get to this point. Uh, test drive, demo. So again, what you're seeing here is that we use you know multiple dealerships, about three or four different dealerships to shoot. So instead of just having green screen like that, I've got video content, training content that's actually you know from the lot, from the um, from the showroom, from the salesperson's desk, and and going through the entire road to the sale, but live like real role play, which is pretty freaking you know unique. We even use GoPro Hero 6s, you know, uh, in test drives to be able to turn around and have video recordings of how to do a proper test drive, what to talk about. So now here we're going to go into some like the stuff that's really different because there's different companies that offer, um, you know, internet training, phone training, but nowhere near the massive amount of content and the, the depth that we have it in. But again, just to recap for the people that are just joining. So we've got new hire training, massive amount of new hire training, onboarding training. Um, CRM training. Again, this is very important. Phone sales training, internet sales training, showroom training. But now watch this. We have full-blown curriculum for management. Everything from mindset, owners, managers. So we've got curriculum certification for sales managers, desk managers, GMs, dealer principals, for internet directors, BDC directors, F&I managers, CRM managers, and digital marketing managers. So we have a full-blown you know, manager section. This is very unique. Because I've been doing this for a long time, what I basically have got going on is that all the years that we've been answering questions and all the years that we've been um, identifying um, all the problems, we created an entire section here for what if, like what if this happens, what if that happens, and we broke it down to the categories. And some of you know that me and my wife are certified trainers and facilitators from Franklin Covey for the seven habits of highly effective people. So Karen Bradley, my wife, the CEO of Dealer Synergy, created a whole course on time maximization and time, you know, and effectiveness period. And some of it is from NADA stuff that we've done. Here's the very unique stuff in this. I have a, I've created a complete, you ready for this? A complete, matter of fact, Tim, uh, Tim Triplett just joined us. Tim is actually one of our, you know, uh, VIP uh, guest trainers, guest speakers. He does a thing on hypnotic selling. He's like a trained hypnotist and it's he's in the sales section. But look at this. We have a complete social media for automotive. So look at the, some of the categories that we have here. Social media overview, Facebook. But let me just go through this right here. Look at this. So it's, it's, it's Facebook automotive, getting started, Facebook mobile, Facebook strategy, Facebook reviews, Facebook paid advertising, Facebook reporting accountability, Facebook communication resources, Facebook events, Facebook for charities, Facebook groups, Facebook notifications, Facebook integrations. And let's just go through Facebook for you know um, paid advertising, right? So when we go into here, how to use ad units. Hi, Sean Seltzer, CEO of Social Dealer. Another Sean. So we've talked about organic Facebook. We've talked about the change to advertising and how that giant audience is now available to you. We've talked about the targeting opportunity. So now let's talk about the ad units. So now what we've designed is, and guys, this is what's crazy. I've never seen anything even close to this, especially under one platform. So when we go in here, we have complete social media for automotive. And what I mean by that, it's for, we have content here, social media for internet departments, BDCs for dealerships, but we have, we also have social media for showroom sales professionals. So if you look right here in the social media section, we got social media, we got Facebook automotive, we even have Instagram automotive, social media content, social media technology resources, social media for car sales professionals. Then, because I'm a best-selling author, I wrote the book, Win the Game of Googleopoly, I've got also 
content here for digital marketing. So strategy for digital marketing. We also have showroom consultant strategies for marketing, video, social media, again, online reputation, website design, SEO, SEM, mobile marketing, cross promotional marketing, metrics, conventional marketing, digital marketing. So for example, this is not me. I've got over 80 of the country's top speakers and subject matter experts. So watch this here. Greg Gifford is one of the top SEO people in the country. So we've turned around and at my conferences got the green screen and shot content like this. So let's go through advanced SEO really quick. So now we're talking a little bit more advanced on the SEO side of things. Again, your most important signal to Google is your content. So the thing that you've got to do is make sure that you've got your content optimized with the correct local signals. So doing some SEO. So the reason why I'm showing you this is that, again, this is both good. So the social media section here and the digital marketing section is, is multi-purpose. Some of it is for, like half of it is for the dealership itself on a macro level, but the same practices and the same strategies could be used on a micro level for the individual salesperson. Why? Because I believe that an individual salesperson should absolutely, in my opinion, be their own internet department, their own BDC. A salesperson should have their own website. They should have their own SEO, their own Facebook, their own this, their own that driving traffic, exactly what the dealership does, you know, the salesperson needs to be doing that on a smaller level. Now, in addition to the social media content, in addition to the digital marketing content, I've got full-blown content for third-party providers where I go through full-blown content for Auto by Tell, which is AutoWeb, um, TrueCar, you know, as well as uh, prospecting. We have a whole course on prospecting. In addition to that, we have online classifieds where you guessed it, there is content on here, which, you know, again, especially with the stuff for car gurus, I expose car gurus here, but we've got content on Auto Trader, car gurus, and KBB. So for Auto Trader, I created this whole course on best practices, steps to success. So when you go through best practices, Again, just drilling down in here, it's pretty crazy. You know, how should I, how should we use an auto trader? What would, what do I do with that? You know, what would I do in your dealership? How to maximize on auto trader, how to maximize used cars, etc. And so again, I'm just showing you this, the amount of content on this platform is just ridiculous. This is every single thing except for service writers and the office, but from receptionist to um, you know, brand new salespeople, to advanced salespeople that are selling 50, 60, 80, 100 cars a month could use this, to internet departments, to CRM, to BDC, to social media, to digital marketing, to third party providers, online classifieds. I even have full blown training on HR recruiting. I have full blown training on how to use training. Like, check this out. Uh, this is a training platform, but I teach you mindset of training, how to use Bradley in demand, how to use dealer synergy, but how to do pre-curriculum training, how to do in dealership training. So if you're a sales manager, what have you, how do you conduct sales meetings? How do you do training at the dealership from role play resources? How to properly leverage the OEM training, how to properly leverage the CRM training from your CRM company, how to leverage online groups like the millionaire car salesman, how to turn around and you leverage magazines and newsletters and automotive blogs, you know, the, the proper automotive conferences, podcasts webinars, industry workshops and seminars, out of industry workshops and seminars, books, audiobooks, Google, YouTube. And then check this out, all my conferences, you know, that I've been doing conferences for 12 years, you know, uh, and I have some of the best speakers in the world, some of my competitors and friends in here. So we've got Jonathan Dawson on here, we got Shaka Dyson, we've got Jim Ziegler, we've got um, Joe Verde, Cor uh, you know, I'm not Joe Verde, I'm sorry, I meant um, Willie Jolly, that's what I meant, Willie Jolly. So I got Dr. Willie Jolly on here. I think I have Paul Cummings on here. He spoke as a keynote right here. And I also got, um, you know, like I got Facebook on here. I've got Google on here because when Facebook was a, um, a, a speaker at my conference, I got them here. Then on top of that, for bonus content, I have a tremendous amount of, you know, stuff for Make Money Mondays. Okay, so Make Money Mondays is free content, but I've got like for four and a half years, every Monday I drop like it's my, my web show. And then what people don't realize is that the billion dollar girl it, you know, is, is um, a partner art. So if you think of me as a record label, she's a recording artist. So I have her entire curriculum here that dealer synergy, people don't realize this. I built Tony Ann's complete video on demand training, tracking, testing, certification, you know, platform. It's her content, but we did all the video production. We did all the, um, the technology, stuff like that. So she's like HBO or Showtime or something like that. And I've also got um, another rock star who's part of our group. And so we made the announcement, but you guys ready for this? Frank Crenetti, who sells 100 cars a month at Piazza Honda, we are in the process of building out his 
100 car per month uh, showroom channel. So think about what I just said. I have 3,500 training modules on here and every week we're adding more and more and more. By the end of 2019, by next year, I'm gonna have probably over 5,000 plus training modules on here between the ton of things that I've got on here for my network, my interviews all over the country, between what Tony Ann and her movement at the Billion Dollar Girl is doing like Showtime. If Tony Ann is Showtime, Frank Kernitty is you know HBO. You know what I'm saying? So again, I have the best of the best training on the planet, period. Now, in addition to that, you guys ready for this? Let's go through the certifications. Again, I've never seen anything at this level even close, okay? Now, because of my background in Franklin Covey and you know instructional design, the National Speaker Association, let's go through the certifications. Now, remember, this is my account, so this is like a demo account, so it's different. I have actually more certifications in this so again, that might be a lot. So just so we're clear, dealers wouldn't have access to all, like every salesperson would not have all that content. It's too much, you know what I mean? So this is how we go through certifications. So here's a couple examples of certification. For my phone sales, look at this. My phone sales certifications, I've got 97 modules for level one. Phone sales level two, that's 63. Phone sales level three is 78, and level four is 240. You know why? To get to level four phone sales status, you've got to go through levels one, levels two, level three, you know, completely, and then you got to go through it again to be able to even remotely qualify level four. Now watch this on the showroom level, this is crazy. If you get through showroom sales certification level one, you could sell cars like candy bars. So it's like level one in college, two, three, and four. So level one for showroom sales, look at that, 187 modules. Level two is 159 modules. Level three is 160. Level four is 366, okay? Now here's what I understand, which drives me crazy. I took a shower three days ago, but my ass took a shower this morning too, and I washed my butt. You know why? Because showers aren't something that you did. Showers are something that you do. Training is something that you do every day. Practice, drill, and rehearse. Folks, think of an Olympian. Think about an Olympian. Do you, can you imagine what it takes to win a gold medal in the Olympics? Think about the dedication, the sacrifice from conditioning, cardio, um, hydration, food, you know, the intake, the calories, the carbs, all this other stuff. Practice drilling, rehearsing. Practice drilling, rehearsing. That's what it takes to be a freaking professional at the Olympic level. Think of what it takes to turn around and be a world-class fighter, boxer, martial artist. You think they just watch freaking Jackie Chan videos and they could turn around and compete in the UFC? Hell no, they get your ass kicked. So they practice drill and rehearse at a, at a unprecedented level. Think about the combat soldiers from Navy SEALs, Force Recon, any of that stuff. Practice, drill, rehearse. Practice, drill, rehearse. There's people that I just interviewed the other day. There's a guy named Greg Jones from SAPA. Do you understand me? I think Joe Clemens is watching this. This dude made $10 million selling cars on the showroom floor. You don't believe me? His interview is in our platform. Can any of you watching this shit right now tell me that they have made $10 million on the showroom floor and they're still selling cars? No, I didn't think so, okay? This guy did, you know why? Because he gets to work early and he leaves late and he mastered his craft. He mastered his craft. You've got to study and master your craft in showroom sales, internet sales, BDC, sales management, and you sales managers are not exempt. You know who trains the least? GMs, GSMs, sales managers. Once you get promoted to that status, that's like the exempt because they're too busy doing management stuff. That's like me saying I'm too busy to fill up my gas tank. How does that even make any sense? If I got no gas, I don't care where I need to go in what emergency, if I don't fill up my gas tank, I will never be able to turn around and, and, and get to my destination. So again, this is the reason why I did this. I've spent millions and millions of dollars cash and years building the most powerful video on demand, training, tracking, testing, and certification platform that encompasses everything. You know why? If you guys got a platform, like some of these old school things, like back in the day, I mean, guys, think about it. Shit's changed. Think about like Netflix. Think about Uber, okay? Let's put this in perspective. What happened to Blockbuster? What happened to Toys R Us? I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. If you're still watching stuff from the 80s and 90s, you need to Beyonce upgrade yourself quick, straight up. 
I mean, if you don't have a training platform that's going to teach you the rules of engagement for millennials, for Generation Z, if you don't have the most up-to-date follow-up tactics in, in, uh, in CRM, if you, if you don't know how to set up your action plans and, and basically use Apple FaceTime, Skype, social media DMs, video email, video text messaging, if your training platform doesn't do that, you better ask somebody because that's some antiquated stuff. Okay, furthermore, if you don't have content on salespeople, how to prospect in this century, you're just still running around with stupid stuff like, let me go get some pizza boxes, let me go get some like calendars and magnets. That's not wrong, I'm not throwing shots, but there's so many next level things that you can do. If you're not leveraging Facebook Marketplace, if you don't have a complete understanding on how to leverage Facebook completely for Facebook Automotive, Instagram Automotive, if you don't understand video search engine optimization, image optimization, if you don't understand all those things and they're not in your training platform, you better upgrade because your training platform is antiquated. Just saying. In addition to that, if you've got training that doesn't talk about the third party providers, the lead source providers, the online classifieds, if your training is doesn't talk to you how to you know maximize auto trader and maximize your used cars and what have you, how are you doing this? You're just gonna assume that you could do this or you're gonna trust these vendors? Guys, you guys are all part of my group. Do you see what these companies are doing? I just talked to a, a GSM, he's on here right now, and I said, these companies have hundreds of billions of dollars of your money. How do you think you're gonna turn around and get off the freaking umbilical cord of these parasite companies? If you do it yourself, if you learn how to do SEO, if you learn how to brand, you learn how to market, you learn how to do digital PR, you won't be so dependent on these parasite freaking cockroaches out there that are stealing your profits. Do you understand that, that Car Gurus is a $3.9 billion company and they are inflating their stocks, in my opinion, because they want to set up for acquisition. They try to eight times you know, um, EBITDA, which is eight times annual earnings. That's like $32 billion. So they're trying to do that. Why? Think about it. Where's that money coming from? So if Car Gurus, just one company, is worth $3.9 billion, how much is Auto Trader, True Car, Auto Web, Cars Direct, even the good vendors, you know, uh, Kelly Blue Book, Edmunds.com, all of these car facts, how much are these companies worth? Hundreds of billions of dollars combined. These companies are freaking stealing all the dealerships margin and all their profit with air. Why? Because dealers are not able to turn around and sell cars themselves, market and brand. So they've got to outsource to these parasite companies. Not all of them, I just mentioned are parasites for the disclaimer. The other thing is the CRM. Do you realize that, that like in my evaluation, 90% of CRMs out there, 90% from my research doing this for 20 years now, uh, CRMs are not set up correctly. I'm talking about billion dollar groups, half a billion dollar groups, mom and pop dealerships, what have you, are not set up correctly. Major CRM companies will even tell you, if you ask the real senior executives and they're gonna keep it real and not bullshit you, the CRM companies that have 5,000, 8,000 dealer clients on there will tell you that dealers only use their CRM maybe, maybe Maybe, maybe 30% max. Some of them 15, 20%. They're not set up the right way. All the action plans are bullshit. All the action plans suck. All the processes suck for the majority of people. The templates suck. They're from like the 90s or early 2000s. They're plain text and they're stupid. They don't make any sense. Just saying. The salespeople don't use the CRM the right way. The managers damn sure are not using the CRM the right way. I just asked a person the other day, like I mean like about a week ago, in front of a sales meeting, I turn around and ask, and I'm not gonna mention any names, I asked the GSM, I said, uh, can you tell me how to log into the back? I don't know, Scooby-Dooby-Doo. He said, Scooby-Dooby-Doo. How are you the GSM and you don't even know how to get how, what your CRM says? Think about that for a second. The GSM, the sales managers, you know, uh, the, 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 the closers, if nobody knows what the process is supposed to trigger, so here's the, here's the temperature check. If you're managers, if you're a dealer principal GM, just, just call your GSM in the office, call your sales manager's office and say, hey, question for you. When, when a beatback leaves, when a salesperson, when a prospect comes in and don't buy a car, the CRM triggers activities for the salesperson. Tell me what those activities are. I doubt, I doubt that any, but it may be one, but I doubt that any team from the GSM and all the sales managers know the processes. You know, if you ask the salespeople, what are the processes? They don't know what's triggering. You know how I know? Because every single CRM audit I do, there's overdue tasks, there's little tasks and whatnot. And so if you don't use the best tool in your 
freaking life, the CRM, any CRM that you're using. You know what I mean? If you're not using it the right way, you're not gonna be able to maximize your most precious commodity, your current and past customers. And so if you're not leveraging your current and past customers, you know what you gotta do? You've gotta be dependent on these companies that really don't care about you. You know what I mean? That, that really are going out there. Like I said, there are some partners out there that are good, and, and I wanna be clear about that. But again, I've got, look at their group. Look at how much, there's thousands and thousands of comments on car gurus. And you know what a lot of them are? What do I do, Sean? If I cancel them, I need them. I'm an independent dealership. Stop. Do you realize that there's a guy in our group right now, Frank Crinity? I don't know if he's still there. Frank, if you're there, say something. Frank sells 100 cars a month as a salesperson at Piazza Honda. I just interviewed the other day, the interview's here, you know, Greg Jones. He made $6 million at one dealership on the showroom floor. He made $10 million throughout his career. This guy's so rich, he's a multi-millionaire car salesman on the showroom floor at Sepa right outside of St. Louis. He owns dry cleaners, he owns 100 acres in, in, in property, he owns rentals, he's got assets, he's got toys, you know, like big boy toys, like cars and stuff like that. How are they doing this? How are some people like Frank Kernitty, Ali Rada, you know, Greg Jones, and, and, and these rock stars, how are they so far up, but yet, yet the national average, the national average is 9.6 units. Are you kidding me? How in the world does the average salesperson sell less than 10 cars? And listen to me, like I'm putting people on blast, right? It's the 13th of December. There's no Santa Claus, people. Do you understand me? I got my kids are here. There's no Santa Claus. There's no freaking Santa Claus. So Santa Claus is not gonna turn around and bring your kids presents. You know what I mean? Santa Claus is not gonna turn around and make you money. It's you. You gotta get knowledge and be able to be dependent on it because that shit is not real. Do you understand what I'm saying? And if you're not trained in this century, like literally, some of the people's training out there is from like last century, like 1990s and 80s. I actually been to dealerships and they still got VHS tapes. I didn't even think they make them anymore. They, true story. And remember this. Practice does not make perfect, okay? Whoever told you that is full of lies. Practice makes perfect because if you're practicing the wrong thing or the antiquated thing or anything like that, how does it make it perfect? And so that's the thing is that you need to make sure that you are prepared yourself and your team to be able to do business here in this century. And it's more, and I believe that salespeople, internet people, managers, what they need to turn around and do is be like an MMA fighter. Back in the day, guys, follow me on this. Back in the day, you know, like salespeople were like a karate guy or karate girl. They only need to know one thing. But in today's day and age, David Palmer, in today's day and age, I believe that, you know, that, that, that sales consultants need to be like an MMA fighter, metaphorically speaking. What does that mean? Because a salesperson in, in 2019 needs to understand video, online reputation, digital PR, social media, time management, um, you know, on top of product knowledge, you know, um, you know, uh, objections, rebuttals, process, the road to the sale, etc. There's so many different things. And again, if you go into like your old school antiquated training piece right there, I mean, think about it. If you keep doing what you're doing, you keep getting what you're getting. Do you realize, folks, this is my last piece because I had to go turn around and make sure my kids didn't hear that Santa thing. I'm only kidding. You got to realize something here. The, the attrition in this country is 70% plus. Chrysler manufacturer broke 80%. All my Chrysler dealerships out there, you know I'm telling the truth because the entire strategy for Chrysler OEM, which is FCA, in 2018, all the incentives were based on reducing attrition. That's how bad it is. They won the prize for being the absolute horrible at attrition in the, in the freaking country. True story. And so what you've got to understand something is, okay, wait a minute. Something's wrong here. Why in the world... Out of the 16,500 franchise dealerships, right? Why is it that the average salesperson makes only, you know, 50 something thousand dollars a year? Why does the average salesperson sell less than 10 cars? Yet there's people selling 30, 40, 50, 80, 100, 130 units a month. True story. Why is it there people making 100, 200, 350, 400 thousand dollars a year selling cars? Why is there such a disparity? Why? Okay, it can't be all the people's fault. It can't be because dealers don't invest in the most important commodity, their people. They don't have a proper onboarding strategy, a proper training strategy, a proper professional development strategy, a proper personal development strategy for these people. They don't help build brands within their brands, which is a shame. And so here's the thing I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? So that's my message to the dealers. But for all you watching this that are salespeople and managers, 
Come on, man up and woman up. You're gonna you're gonna turn around and and and, and basically be okay with mediocrity because your dealership doesn't turn around and provide stuff. Do it on yourself. I'm self taught, man. I'm a college dropout. I got multiple people with college degrees and master's degrees that work for me. How does that look? Think about that for a second. I taught myself everything by putting myself into training, into workshops, into this, into that. Invest in yourself. Frank Crediti sells 100 cars a month. As a salesperson, he invests in himself. Tony Ann Fordette, the billion dollar girl, she invests in herself. The best, most successful people don't rely on another person that breathes the same air as they do to be successful. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Check this out, I'm gonna get real close. I will never, and I would have never back then, but damn sure today, any day before, after, whatever, I will never ever look at my kids and say, sorry, I can't because of another man or another woman. Hell the heck no, do you understand me? And what that means is that, th- that this industry is really simple. You wanna pay raise, you wanna make a shit ton of money? This is the millionaire car salesman group, right? It's simple. You make money the second that you become more effective. That's it. You want a pay raise? Your pay raise is retroactive from the second that you are effective. And what that means is there's no time clock. So if you turn around and immerse yourself in your craft, if you turn around and master your craft like you're trying to get a PhD in any other profession, if you want to turn around and master your craft like a Navy SEAL, if you want to master your craft like an Olympian, then you will be able to make a shit ton of money. Just saying, guys. If you got any questions, holler at your boy. I'm about to do another live stream separate from this about the mentorship program because there's um, some some misconceptions of the mentorship program, the technology, which works fine. And I'm going to also say this right now. My mentees, I'm, I'm capped out. I, I'm going to tell you that he's going to get free access to my technology. So whoever was the first one to jump and have me be their mentor, very smart because I got a lot of toys for you like Bruce Wayne. All right, take care. See, I like Batman right there. Bye.